I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore the relation between finite difference, leading coefficient and the degree of the polynomial. The question here is which finite difference will be constant and what will be its value for the following polynomials. So now finite difference, constant finite difference really depends on the degree, right? So let's say delta is the finite difference, n is the degree. Then the relation between the value of this finite difference is leading coefficient times n factorial, where n is a degree. When I say n factorial, it means you have to multiply. If I say 4 factorial, it means 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So let's figure it out. The first one here is linear, right? the degree of the function is 1 so we'll write degree is 1 that is n equals to 1 what is the leading coefficient a a n is minus 3 minus 3 and therefore first finite difference will be constant right so we say first finite difference like this first finite difference will be constant and the value will be the slope itself which is equals to minus 3. Do you get the idea? You could use this formula also. A n is minus 3. n is 1, right? So get your result. Perfect. Now let's get into the next one, which is quadratic equation. So the degree is 2. So let me write down n as equals to 2. Since n is 2, we know second finite difference will be constant. What is the leading coefficient? a n the leading coefficient is 3 the second finite difference which is going to be constant that 2 here signifies second finite difference is equal to a n times n factorial that means 3 times 2 factorial 3 times 2 factorial that means 3 times 2 which is 6 the next function here is minus 2 x cubed plus x squared plus 1 degree is 3 so the third finite difference will be constant leading coefficient is minus 2 third finite difference will be equal to leading coefficient minus 2 times 3 factorial 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 so we get minus 2 times 3 times 2 you can write plus times 1 that gives you 6 times 2 is 12, minus 12 is your answer. Now in this particular case, the degree is 2 and 2, 4. So n is 4. Leading coefficient is, when you multiply x squared and x squared, you get 1, positive 1. Fourth finite difference is constant, whose value will be n is 1 times 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and that is equal to 12 times 2 as 24, right? Positive 24. So that is how you can find the value of finite difference also, right? So degree tells you the which finite difference will be constant. So here first finite difference is constant, then degree 2, second finite difference, degree 3, third finite difference, degree 4, 2 times 2, 4, 2 plus 2 I should say, and its value is going to be defined by this formula, where n factorial means, if I write 5 factorial, it means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, correct? So that is how you can easily calculate the finite difference without making table of values and uh, doing y2 minus y1 okay i hope that helps thanks for watching all the best